Hey. Better be a good day because then we don't have any day. Mm, great philosopher Nate, what did you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, I definitely said I was going to stream yesterday and then I didn't. So sorry. <laughs> sorry. I may have woken up at like noon and then I just read and cleaned my house yesterday. <laughs> Hi, Nala. Hi, Laura. Gato spotted. One of them is sleeping right over there in a little uh, cocoon. Wait, there's another one? <laughs> Must have just left. Yeah, a rest day. A rest day. That is correct. That is correct. Um, I know we have Lantern Right. I know we have Shen Yun's story. I know we have Chen Yu Vale, but I'm like really, really gripped by HSR and the Pentacony story and environment that I just want to keep going. So I think I will do that. Not I think, I will do that. Hero, thank you for the tier one. Kay, thank you for the tier one sub as well. Um, I've been having bad days and I don't want anyone else to have bad days. So it's just better to have a good day. I just don't get up to go back to to go back to sleep. <laughs> Interesting. No, you take a bad day and you make it a good day. Yeah, I knew Gagacony would come through. It did. It really is. I did not anticipate. I was like vaguely, I was definitely interested in Pentagoni upon first learning about it and like getting drip marketing, but I am way more invested than I thought I would be. And I resisted playing yesterday, even though I wanted to, and I saved it. I saved it for stream. Can I perhaps interest you in a chippy chippy chapa chapa? Always. How are you guys doing today? What day is it? Wednesday? How's Wednesday? Decent? Admissible? Intolerable? Insufferable? Doing my whole history commercial and video project while watching dish is my type of after school treat oh is it after school i need to shop channel dish in toronto for my shopping needs <laughs> yeah that's right the Pentagoni shopping network always here to, to sell you this garbage vad like saying the two on sub uh nihil is thinking for the Gift sub to Theo. Appreciate that. Kind of sick. Got slight fever and fatigue. Oh no. That sucks. Oh no. Two sick people. Think my students got me sick. P Town. <laughs> uh, end of the day, CRK gave me because you got me hooked in. I'm sorry. No. I haven't logged in in like a week and a half, if that helps. I've resisted. I have been playing a lot of Grand Blue Fantasy though. Have you seen the newest cookie? He's so fine. Don't say that. Don't say that because it's literally Dish a cookie. Dish you make up looks so wonderful. Please hey. do mine. <laughs> I've been experimenting with makeup. More makeup. More makeup looks lately. Um, Sarah, thank you for the two months, two month resub. Cookies can be fine. If you saw what he looked like, what's the what's the name of the cookie? It's on Twitter. Cause I'll look. Ba 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 ba. Mercury night cookie. Mercury. Did they put mercury in the? Aren't cookies supposed to take mercurial night cookie? <laughs> this is what you're talking about? <laughs> okay, but it's like a glorified Gumby. All the cookies are 
just stick figures. Yeah, it has to be poison, right? Because mercury is will like literally kill you. <laughs> That's not. Don't say that. Okay, you're not a cookie. He has poison damage in his auto, so that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Remind you of Xiao. <sighs> but it's but it's a cookie. Is there like humanoid fan art? Because I would I would look at that. Like a human version. No, he's too new. There's no fan art. Who's the voice actor? Da ba 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 ba. Hmm. Chang So Hua. What about English? <sighs> Is this Zyog stream now? Lamenting. They just don't get it. He just don't want to find an AC one. <laughs> okay, I will I will make allowances for like non-human creature attraction, but like that is a cookie. That is like a cutout cookie at the end of the day. <laughs> Gotta be creative. I hate you. I hate all of you. I hate all of you. And I hate that we're having this conversation. It's like by Karen Demeanor. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not hearing you out. I'm done. I'm done. By the way, I am 90% through this book. And I will be posting some thoughts about the whole, the two of them. Because I feel like I can't talk about the first one without talking about the second one. I am going to do a re review of them on TikTok. I have enjoyed the second book a lot. A lot. Mist and Fury. I thought that was an actual book. This. The Kindle. <laughs> Surely the second book is worth the first one. For me, it definitely was. For me, the second book made the first book worth it. It doesn't mean the sec the first book isn't any better than it was because I I still would put it at a solid like two point three two point five stars. However, the second book definitely enriches the story components of the first book. But like, if the first book's poorly written, it's poorly written. That's the end of the story. So it's worth starting. If you like like love story and you like magic and fantasy and stuff like that then yeah i would say so a kotar yeah yeah i think the first book is objectively bad but it sets up good things in the second book so like i actually would probably reread the first book because it does put give like really important context to the second book but this first book still sucked <laughs> And I understand why so many people either didn't finish it or read it and were like, what? Or didn't or didn't read the second book. And you, uh, it's a series. Yes, it is a series. However, you can't. Diary. Hey, Dish. It, you hey. nose looks snatched. Slay. Thank you. I actually did a little contour. Hi, Dish. I hope you have a great day. Thank less you, than three. Sil, for the six months. Prowse, thank you for the hundred bits. You can't fix if the if one book is dependent on another book to be good the first book isn't good because because you can still like in the sorry i'm already talking about it but in a court of thorns roses you can like the author could have absolutely still told a good story and like given the readers the what they needed without it being written so poorly <laughs> So I guess you could say, you know, Sarah J. Moss, Mass, Moss grew as an author from writing the first book to the second book. Um, and obviously it's a published book. You can't like go back and revise it. So 
what people are saying that like the first book is almost a like a rite of passage to get to the rest of the series like a hazing almost <laughs> uh, i have to say i would agree with that because this book is way longer way more complicated and i have ripped through it just as quickly as i ripped through the first one so the author was in a silly goofy mood oh yeah it the first book literally reads like fan fiction it is somehow verbose but also uses so verbose but not even to the point of being descriptive so like what is the point true cliche trope phrases and terminology could have absolutely been written on wattpad and i would have said yes this belongs here um however the second book is making me happy that i read the first book so yeah <laughs> that's how i feel about the first two books in the Akodar series yes my story graph username is ms dish yeah i'll probably i'll probably post some stuff there too but yeah i'll put that all in the tiktok and probably hello everyone in a more organized already way. 34 months people sit the third book had me gagged exciting i'm 90 percent through so i'll probably finish this tonight and then i'm probably just gonna read through the whole series and then <laughs> i need like uh i need after i finish this i feel like i'm gonna need kind of like a cerebral book you know like a palate cleanser <sighs> do you have have you watched dune i have i have watched Yes, I have not actually ever watched the original. I read, I think I read like 50 pages of the book until Hi I got dish. lost. And Love confused. you and your content less than three. I don't think I was like, motion, like um, mature enough to stick with it. Sudden Essence, thank you for the prime. I also had no idea what the book was about. So I just like started reading it because my dad <laughs> let me borrow his Kindle. <laughs> I was like, oh, this book is on here and it's free. So I'll read it. Yes, I'm going to read all the books. I tried to read but the book, but I was so confused. Yeah, I got. I think I was only like 16 when I started reading Dune. And it was just, at least at the time, it was too much for me. Um, but I probably will. That actually might be a good... One Blue Broccoli says hello, Dishon's chat. I hope you are having time. a good day. Yes. I really like your makeup today and Thank I you. wanted to Thank ask you. a million dollar question that can fill everyone's curiosity, <laughs> when is Pinakini Dish going to be playable? I want to throw frogs at every Imagine? enemy I can. New win DPS unlocked? Oh my I gosh. hope so. Imagine, oh my gosh. Playable? I don't think that would ever happen. But imagine they like put NPCs into, imagine they put me and Jake as NPCs in Pentacony. And like gave us one voice line each. That would be so sick. But I don't think it'll ever happen. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even ask them to pay me. I would just be happy to have it in there. HSR team, if you hear me, if you hear me t speaking to you, I will be. I will read a line in your game, and you can use my brand name, which I have not trademarked or anything. You can use my brand name for free. I don't care. I just want to be in the game. <laughs> That would be so sick. We could have our... I mean, we could go in the mall. Store manager for China Store. Dune is great once you get past the first book. Oh, is it? Is the first book hard? In contrast to that, I once read a book in which the first 50 pages were just talking about rats, which makes sense given the theme, but the thing is it's so intriguing through the description of the author that I kept going. It was all about skill. Exactly. Like... Like, the Lord of the Rings books are very similar. The uh, Tolkien writes extremely long descriptions of, like, places and things. And you could argue that maybe that's not, like, necessary. And it could be less enjoyable, per se, compared to, like, um... I don't know, more action-y sequences? But... If, if Tolkien put it in his book, it's probably important. With So I think you can write things that seem long and hard to read and like that the, the reader isn't going to understand until later why it was there. 
you can do that skillfully. The problem with the Court of Thorns and Roses is that there was very important and in the end, very interesting setup for the second book, but it was written poorly. Like you can't change that. <laughs> My Lord of the Rings box says for decoration, not reading. <laughs> I also tried to read A Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, that didn't go well either, but I can probably do it now. Thank you, uh, Wizard King. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's hard. I've heard it is very challenging to get through the Lord of the Rings books. I might do audiobook for those, to be completely honest, so I can listen to it while I'm like doing whatever. What Kindle do you have? I have the 12th, 12th. Uh, 12th edition paperback. I mean, no, paper white, paper white signature edition in the green color. Not that you can see it anymore, but it is green under there. Hi, Zajev. Hey, do you like books? Are you, you strike me as a reader. We've been talking about books in the HSR category. <laughs> to be fair, it's only, I've only been live for like 18 minutes. Did you not put the pop socket on yet? I put it on and it bothered me. It was such a sensory issue that I ripped it off. Every time I just, cause I, I really actually wanted to hold it like this. Really only when I was like in the bath or something, but other times I just, I hold it like this. This is how I hold my Kindle. So having to like splay my fingers to hook it in there. I was like, nah, this ain't worth it. <sighs> I hate books paper more like pepe w no really but so jeff you seem you strike me as such a like well it, like you seem like such a smart educated oh uh, your vocabulary is very large so i figure you must be a reader i used to read a lot but my attention span perished and <laughs> perished in the last few years case in point perished who would say perished in that sentence except someone who was a reader. Yeah, I get that. I actually, I have had reading on my New Year's resolution list for like three years in a row. And this is the first time I've like actually gotten back into it. I, here's how I did it. Here's how I did it. I read a book of a story that I already knew. Um, I read The Witcher. And I knew I wanted to read it because I've heard it's fantastic. And it is, it is fantastic. Um, and it was, I already knew I cared enough about the story that I would be able to get through the book. So that's how I started. And then I read a classic um, of a story I also already knew. And then I started to, once I had gotten into the habit of reading again, then I started reading books I didn't know. Yeah. And I've, I heard that this series Court of Thorns and Roses was like very easy and very like pleasurable to read and it has been so now now I'm like hooked now I am reading and I literally didn't stream yesterday because I was reading I'm implying people who don't read are not wrinkle brain, brain mish dish yes I was not only implying it I was saying it out loud reading expands your vocabulary and and expands your way of thinking so much which is why i've been stupid for the last three years because i haven't been reading reading is good for you yes that is like without a doubt reading is absolutely so good for your brain <laughs> have you read song of achilles no but i have it it was gifted to me i do have it yeah Witcher Saga is so good. You don't read in English very much. That makes sense. I would, I would, I can imagine that that would be very hard. Yes, reading Twitter is not good for you. Reading books is good for you. Hi, Ozzy. Oh, I have one, two... Hi. I have two gatos in here. I wish I could read Brandon Sanderson novels, but they're not sold physically, but they're not sold in stores here. No. I mean, you could order them online. 
I'm going to read Way of Kings as well. That's next on my, that's on my list. I don't know what is next on my list after a, a, a Kotar. <sighs> Twitter reading, book reading. <laughs> yeah. Watching movies on my books. I mean, you can, books are, I mean, reading, hello. Movies are also great. Can also be incredible medium. They are. They are. And reading takes a lot more, like, dedication. And it's, ha it's hard. The hardest part is, like, sitting down I to am read, a smooth I like. brainer, which I will defenestrate myself for not being a reader. <laughs> defenestrate. Is that a word? I've never heard that before. Defenestrate. Throw someone out of a window. Well, there you go. So it sounds like you are smart. So. I'm the idiot. It's to throw out of the window. That is so specific. To so <laughs> That's so specific. Not to throw something out of a building. Not to throw something from one place to another. But to specifically throw it out of a window. It's a rare word. It's rare. Google says, look. You see this? Does this work? Defenestrate. Rare. <laughs> throw something out of a window. Someone! Throw someone out of a window! <laughs> Excuse me. Remove or dismiss someone from position of power authority. Please don't throw yourselves out of a window. That's a five star word. That's a five. Oh no, what's the five dollar word? It makes more sense in French because fenêtre, fenêtre is window. Oh, French expert in here. Have you read Ka Camus? He's my favorite author. I'm looking it up. Albert Camus. Sorry if I'm butchering that. French philosophy. Which book would you recommend? Because, like I said, after reading yummy fantasy book, easy to read fantasy book, I do want to read something a bit more cerebral as a palate cleanser, The Stranger. Okay. I will, what do we put it on my to read pile on Storygraph? The Stranger. The Stranger, Albert. Albert. <laughs> Oh, it's a novel. Oh, okay. That's, that is easier for me. Oh, it's only 123 pages. Oh, great. The book I'm reading is like 600 pages. So hopefully if it's not too hard, I can read it. I will let you know what I think if I have any thoughts about it. Sorry, I am excited about HSR, but I really like talking about books. I recommend Six of Crows. I have heard both of those. I also know Throne of Glass people really like. Which is the same author as a Kotar. What eyeshadow palette are you using? This one, um, it's a mixture of... Oh, uh, let me just get them. I think... I can't remember what brand it is off the top of my head. Six of Crows is amazing. I also have um, a sci-fi series called B uh, Bur Bur Red Rising. I have Red Rising on my to-read list as well. Um, I use this one. Rom Ampersand and. Hi, do you like poetry? Ampersand if so, have you ever read Lucian Blago? His works are beautiful and cerebral as well. Happy oh. reading. Let me write it down. Lucian. Lucian. Blaga. 
Nimble underscore 44 says M's dish. What is your favorite hyperexia buds? Um, these are the cloud two. These are the cloud earbuds. I think these are the most recent version of the cloud earbuds. But yeah, they're great. I do also like the wireless ones. But I haven't gotten to set up. Uh, yeah, I use this one. It just says O3. I don't really know. Yeah, I used the two. Actually, I think I used all of them. Uh, and then I also used this one. Laka, Mono Shadow, and Tulip. That helps. Wireless ones fall out of my ears every minute and earbuds don't work unless the case is charged. <gasps> well, there is a reason I use wireless. Probably mostly because latency. Latency is... Uh, wireless latency... It's only... I don't know. I feel like earbuds just don't have the tech to get fast enough latency. Tulip. Nina, thank you for the tier 1 16 months. I appreciate it. Uh... Raven, thank you for the 100. Sun Essence, thank you for the 18 months. Duad, thank you for the 34. So Vivi for the 6. Honey Bunny for the 18 months. Why not use a headset? I actually do have a reason. Um, I have TMJ. Uh, TMJD. Um, and it's it basically means like an inflammation of this joint right here. Um, and it has gotten really bad over the last couple of years. I really should do something about it and like go see a doctor. But the last doctor I went to didn't really help. He just told me to do yoga to help with stress. Because, it's like, apparently it's, like, I don't know. He was saying it's anxiety-related. And, like, I do get anxiety. And I do grind my teeth and stuff. But it's only on one side. Like, I don't have it on both sides. Just this one. Uh, but it's gotten to the point where I can't even sleep on this side. So I sleep on this side or, like, on my back. So I, yeah, uh, unfortunately, headphones, I find it very aggravating over a couple hours. Um, and it's like a, it's like a cycle. So I get, I get TMJ pain, which turns into a headache, which turns into like, like, um, lower, like my neck. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's very annoying. I should just go to another doctor, but I haven't. Just drink water. Yeah. Just, um, just, I, you know what I actually should do is wear a mouth guard at night. Where I should wear my retainer. You know, no one told me, no one told me when I got braces, braces that I was signing up to wear a retainer for the rest of my life. You tell me I'm 27 and I have to wear a retainer at night. How undignified. You're telling me that I have to speak with a lisp and wear a piece of plastic and resin and metal in my mouth for the rest of my life? No! I refuse. Does I, one of these teeth sticks out a little further <laughs> than the other one now <laughs> because I was like, what was the point? <laughs> a mouth guard might actually be worse. Well, the problem is I grind my teeth at night. So if I clench my jaw and I grind my teeth, it does cause inflammation. So in the nights that I have worn a mouth or my retainer, my TMJ pain is less the next day. So I do think I should do that. <clears throat> it's so much self-care. You're 27, you look 22 at most. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have you read Shatter Me? It's such a good series. No. I have heard very, very, very mixed things about Shatter Me. They were super popular when I was in high school. It's, I, everyone had a copy of Shatter Me. You can get Botox for TMJ? Yes. I know. I think that might... I've I've seen people get filler. I've seen people get injections or Botox to to prevent TMJ or to stop it. So, depending on what whatever doctor I says and if I ever go, then I probably will consider that option. Mm. Dental health, Omega oh, Lol. 
Yeah, I have heard very mixed things about Gatterby. <laughs> I don't know if I will try it. Uh, fourth wing, I DNF'd fourth wing after very, very quickly. I, I realized very quickly that the, um, that the, the way it was written is not a way that I would enjoy reading fantasy, so I stopped. Facelift, Botox, chin save, injections, lash lift, eye cut. Yeah, let's not forget the uh, buccal fat removal, cheek filler, uh, eyebrow lift, lip injection. I really need celebrities to stop getting buccal fat removal. I really need female celebrities to stop turning their themselves into literal ghouls by taking out this piece of this like plushiness right here. You know, the plushiness that makes you look young. Removing that and putting in cheek filler. So they have this just like insane, like their the side of their face looks like a question mark. Stop! Please! Stop getting veneers! Miley, I'm looking at you. It's too late, but... Please, stop. Your, your canines are cute, okay? The little canine teeth, so cute. Please stop getting veneers. Please. Let your face be plump and cute. You make yourself look so much older. For all the celebrities that are listening to me uh, and watching my stream right now, please don't get buccal fat removal. Not too much on Miley. Did you see her at the Grammys? Did you see her at the Grammys? See her at the Grammy. Where's that one picture of her that I saw? Uh, I don't know if you can. What is this scary song that's playing? Oh, that's enough. Please stop. Maybe this. Maybe that one picture just looked worse Always than it love was. the streams, Ms. Dish. Actually. Yeah, maybe it was just that one picture. I hope it was. Sorry, I'm looking for, uh... Because I definitely saw <laughs> the hilarious tweet about it. Maybe it was on my alt account. Oh, here we go. You could kind of see what I'm talking about here. This will busted Miley Cyrus at the Grammys 2008-2024. Iconic images. This one is iconic. So you can see, obviously, she's had reduction here. Not sure if she's had filler, but this is very sharp. Very sharp. It's so cool, we did it. One knows when you'll die, the other knows how you'll die. <laughs> Double trouble, cauldron bubble. Uh, yeah. Like, okay, girl, we see them. Yeah, I, 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 apparently she looked awesome in her performances. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, I think the main concern, and we will see it over like the next couple years, is that celebrities are getting like filler and Botox and stuff like so so young, and it's just kind of killing the elasticity of their skin, and it, it almost has like a reversal effect where it makes you look older. It makes them look older. It's just sad. The beauty standards is just so intense. That's, yeah, it's kind of very smudge. What is the stuff that makes your cheek more full? Cheek filler. It's called filler. Or like injections, I guess. The song title? Uh, Teko, Tokepi, In Love With The Ghost. Tokepi. Tokepi. 
Smile lines are beautiful too. They show you're living a happy life. I agree. I feel like Billie the ideology Eilish. of. Can we just get a round of applause for Billie Eilish getting eight Grammys now and she's an yeah. Oscar and Emmy winner at 22? Yeah. What a queen. 22. Also, Leve won a Grammy. <laughs> Leve won a Grammy. I'm so happy for her. Thank you for the 100 process. Yes, I am going to play H Star today. I will stop talking soon. Um. Yes, I feel like the concept behind smile lines or like viewing smile lines as ugly or like crow's feet as ugly is so weird because you you get smile lines from smiling. Isn't that good? Isn't isn't like that? Shouldn't that be beautiful? I don't know. I I, I just don't get why the impression that you've not had a joyful happy life why is that bad also crow's feet are cute i find them attractive joy very ugly woman happy gross disgusting that's too disgusting <sighs> woman doesn't look like a child anymore Ugh. How dare she? <laughs> Our brains are just too developed for these things. It's because we're book readers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Me when I pull out my book in a, in a public place in, instead of my phone. Yes, I am better than everyone. <laughs> Am I better than everyone? I'm late. Actually, it's fine. You're in perfect timing for HSR. So actually, you're just in time. I feel like society puts a big standard on women to still be young. Yeah. It's very interesting because I think the way that men age is not seen as unattractive or like negative like men getting gray in their hair or like getting more like rugged or or wrinkles like it's seen as attractive but for some reason that is not extended to women it's the opposite hmm As, isn't there like a study that says men largely continue seeing 20 to 30 year old women as like peak attractiveness no matter how old they are whereas women it like tracks with the age that they are take that with a grain of salt because i can't remember what the study was that i saw that in but meh <sighs> Seeing a lot of things, see a lot of things men have are not extended to women. That is, that's true. That's true. That's interesting. Also, why are people saying I don't play HSR? Why are there people on Twitter saying I don't play HSR? <laughs> I'm literally level 70. Or Trailblaze 70. Why is this on the Panicone program? She According literally to the map, doesn't this play is the Dreamscape sales store. I is literally that play HSR, okay? A giant eyeball? Is that a giant eyeball? It's because it's like I haven't made content on HSR in a while. They say I'm fake, they're fake. Why are people saying that? Um, it's just like, I think it's just like piggybacking off of <laughs> this narrative that like, map, this is the dreamscape sales store. And I will be careful what is I say here because a giant Bible? this is it's still, um, Atsu is releasing a statement soon. Brax is releasing a statement soon. They have both posted on Twitter today. Um, but the implication that like, or the idea that I only have can get a sponsorship because someone else got it for me. 
it's like pretty insulting. <laughs> so the so with this, it's like with my Pentacony thing, they're like, this is definitely, you know, someone pulling Hoyo versus strings. Like I don't have two million followers across my platforms. Like I've been making Hoyo content for three years. You don't think I can pull a deal myself? Um, that's like kind of sexist, actually. Water heats the cloud song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Dreamscape. Very funny. Very funny. Hmm. This is one of the top Genshin and Hoyo female streamers who we use for face. Oh, sorry. Actually, I misread your message. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Most people are reasonable. There's just a very loud group of people who just like hopped on the drama and are taking every chance they get to like say something nasty. Yeah, who doesn't? Sw yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just like let's think about it critically for a second. I have been in the space. I have not gotten into any like huge controversies. I make c c content for Hoyoverse consistently. And by for Hoyoverse, I mean I cover Hoyoverse games. I have been doing that for three years. And I have done many Hoyo sponsorships throughout the years. So to insinuate that like I need another content creator to like that the only way I could have secured a deal to do something like this is because someone else told them to is so ridiculous. And it is insulting. But it just shows. People, a lot of people just don't know what they're talking about. They just don't know what they're talking about. Like, I have a good relationship with Hoiverse, and I earned that. Asking Twitter users to cr do critical thinking. I mean, if you... <laughs> In the situations of conflict, the loudest people on Twitter are just people who, like, they, they, they dig their heels in whatever narrative they heard first. And they are unwilling to change their perception of events when even new information is revealed. When, when two sides of a conflict come to the same conclusion and like both acknowledge that they were not correct, those people are still, they will still insist that the original narrative was correct. I'm like, who? Who is asking you to do this? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not trying to toot my own here, horn here, but like, I earned it. I, I'm, and I almost didn't post anything about the HSR pen. Always, it's always not in panic on your show on Twitter. Because I was like, oh, what are people going to say? But I was like, I am so proud of this. Like, this is a huge accomplishment. HSR is the game I play the most under Genshin Impact. I have nothing to be ashamed of. And there was no middleman between me and Hoyverse. I have nothing to hide. I'm proud of it. Now. Anyway. It's me. The dreamscape says a story. I also You speak to John Miho yourself. Edward. Yeah, of course. I'm happy to be of course, at your John. Me and John are good buddies. Here's where you get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes. From the top notch productions of Clark Studios. Of course, it's kind of quiet. Private donations. <laughs> we have it all. But I'm not mistaken. This is your first visit to Pentacle, isn't it? It is. Please that eyeball is crazy. Doctor Ed will provide I don't really like it, actually. Find in helping you purchase your first dreamscape and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. And that's the end of my analysis. I'm sure you'll be a fan of this 
Great mark. It's a contribution from an anonymous donor. It is said to contain oh, the memory Penicone. of the fallen Eon Akefiri. Mm. I can assure you that this dream lover is perfect for you. Penicone, like especially this part. It feels so cool, but I feel like it could turn into a horror movie so quickly. Remember, most of it is a real drama. Both parties don't care. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'll say for now. There are still more. There are still more statements to be made, and I will post something on Twitter once everyone has like spoken and and I can read both and make a I, I do have a few things that I want to say and clarify but like Twitter is such a cesspool especially right now that it's just like this is no point in arguing with people yeah uh, yeah <laughs> okay Dream bubble. Is this the memory of Aki Billy? Doctor Edward does not make any guarantees regarding the authenticity of dream bubble content. Dreams are just dreams. So enjoy your dream. Let's begin. I don't know if dreams are just dreams. Please I don't really buy that. And rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, oh, dream bubble. you will be living right. through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. Oh, I forgot we have memory bubbles on the... Ah, uh, what's it called? The thing on the on the ship. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But Hot. I respect <laughs> every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning. Why isn't there any sound now? Who's speaking? <laughs> My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. And perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Achievelli. However, Achievelli. I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve <laughs> your experience. But meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Achievelli. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Does it have to be the voice of someone I'm close to? Yes. Unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. I can well, pick anybody? Please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. Ah! Easy. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm rendering it as we speak. The replication is complete. Now you can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape experience. I know y'all didn't think I was going to pick anybody else. Do you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct. You rode snowmobiles into the Tykian Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. You plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> it's so you dramatic. sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 nose walker cubs. You kept them in the restroom where they were left to breathe <laughs> and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. <laughs> You plead guilty to this charge? Uh, yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> the you drama. marched into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. 
This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pawpaw pies. <laughs> because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving. You plead guilty to this charge? This is some uh, The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. <laughs> it doesn't even sound like him. Uh, don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. Mm -hmm. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the express databank. Oh. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glass. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a break in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. Oh, unforgivable. Unforgivable. This trailblaze expedition of yours is an elating one indeed. Perhaps it is. But I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of the dream <laughs> one. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Uh, sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, you are not. <laughs> Could there be anyone worse than me? Not the self pity. Of course there is. Who? Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. Who? <laughs> That's all for the content of this dream bubble. How was your experience? Weird. What does all the what do all these have to do with Archivelli? <laughs> this string bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream bubble again, you can purchase it with credits. I'm almost experiencing something like this. Experience uh, expecting something like this. So that first dream bubble free was just a sale pitch, huh? This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still. Please give it some consideration. Well, are you going to buy it? What a shame. Please come again. Oh, right. As this is your first time using the dream bubble, here's a sticker. I mean, negotiate at least. You can use it to decorate your dreamscape past Yay. and commemorate your unique trip to Pinnacle. Yeah, screw your dream bubble. I want a sticker. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Oh. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. Oh, I wonder how much it would have been. Get her! Uh, what's going on? What's all the commotion about? Guys, please wait. There's a sticker. Oh, cute. That's adorable. Can I go and ask again? Nameless memory memory bubble. A hundred thousand? I guess that's not that bad. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I have it now. Okay. I'm coming. Water heats the cloud song. Water heats the cloud song. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. <gasps> it's her. My family. Uh, sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. I'll do my best to protect a pretty young lady. <laughs> Cute. Hey, look! She has an accomplice. Ha! Good work! Now we can nab them both in one go. Two NPCs. <laughs> Let me through! What is this team? <laughs> Heaven, sir. Rise! You <laughs> chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Scared yet? What is this team? Huh? 
Nothing major. Bloom. Want to see what I can do? Yeah. Friendship team, um... I think it was for a very specific domain. Let's settle this. That was just like AFK. What a team this is. Who invited you? <laughs> They're all Let like me skill You're point not going heavy anywhere. teams. Eternal well. sleep. The dead return. <laughs> Wait, let me switch teams, bro. <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> How are you living? Oh. Sushung plus ill is very inspirational. That's enough, boys. Ah, <gasps> uh, sir, sir. What's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Now you've got my attention. Huh? Who, who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer. <laughs> sent here so by the sleepy. family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're so trying to apprehend a stowaway. Make dark characters. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. Noted. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Yeah, Does that even make exactly. sense? She's our guest. <sighs> well, just get out of my way, and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. No, please don't make me fight again. I need to fix my teeth, please. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the bloodhound family. I'm not sure I like his voice. No. No. I, w I was expecting kind of a different vibe. Not gonna lie. I don't know what it was. I don't know what I was expecting. Like more sleepy and kind of like nonchalant. You know, because he's kind of like he's messy looking. An accent would have been would have gone crazy. Yeah, you're right. He's gruff and. Dudley sounding in JP. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What about the... Who is a silver-haired guy? I want to listen to in JP. The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. Don't go anywhere, Gallagher. We're in charge of security Ow. here, and our duties include arresting people oh, who try know. to enter our world illegally. Sharper than I thought. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you Wait. be a stowaway? Wait, I obviously... Okay, wait. I imagine he sounded like Joel from Last of Us. Just think... Just, like, just take a second and think about what that would be like. Do you see it? Do you hear the vision? Maybe not as, like... Maybe not as dramatic, but, like, a little bit like the southern like the low kind of growly voice could you imagine time to recast how you just to be clear disclaimer this is obviously no slander to the VA themselves it's just about how I like my <laughs> I guess what I, all I'm saying is his voice did not match my expectations when I saw his character 
It's my head cannon. My head cannon. I feel like I was a little bit misled by his appearance. <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Cannon. Just <laughs> part of the job. Canceled to be a slander. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you wow. can reach out to me Thanks. through the Young Bloodhounds Thank you, in this area. Man, appreciate it. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. You take the lead on that one. You can make a video about it. <laughs> <sighs> I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I Wait, might have been taken Gallagher. away by them. Come back. I'm happy Thank to help. Thank you so much. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? She kind of reminds you of Luna Lovegood, which I do love. Video incoming. <laughs> I'm ruined. Listen, the, <laughs> you the, bet. Uh... The Interastral <laughs> Peace broadcast recently did a whole segment about your glorious achievements. The uh, allegedly. Please, dear God, I think the Hoyo CC conflict is about to come to a close. So, you know, right on time, we could start more. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. I'm just kidding. Please don't do that. Please Did don't all do that. the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway? I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. Please don't do that. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. <laughs> when She's there are so no cute. acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's really cute. Glad to hear that. After all, Glocks you just Avenue. did me a huge favor. That's my sister. Yes, we are related. Over here. Canonically. It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. Can you... Uh, wait, actually. I need to switch my team because that was just... Um, that was just painful. That was just painful. Um, no, 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 no. Donhung and Sushang together. This is truly inspirational. <laughs> uh, who do I normally put here? Pela? I think so. Something like that. Okay, let's go. Watch your step now. Go away! <laughs> The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The OT Dreamscape mall. sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. If you want to see the most crazy down bad thing from Jonathan, check DMs. Chat, Mirror Maiden became a pole, uh, pole character. I would need to be separated from my credit card. I would also be wearing swim trunks the first stream because I would actually piss myself live on air. I thought he was going to say something Not even else. for content, just out of sheer excitement. Like a ha over happy dog. You know? Oh my god. You like leave the house to go get the mail and, he, and you've been gone for 30 seconds, but for him it's felt like you left and were never going to come back and now you're back and... He pees himself out of excitement on your return. You know what I'm talking about? That's an actual thing! Don't look at me like I'm crazy, chat! I'm leaving Someone the stream and him. never coming back. Goodbye. Honestly, for the best. Honestly, I respect your judgment. Love you. Love you, Spro. <laughs> Kisses. Kisses. My Kisses. Hey. Hey. Back it up, mister. Kisses. Someone, where is his dignity? Items purchased in the dreamscape can also be brought Bang. into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, <laughs> the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. Horrifying. You can come back for them next time. I can confidently say that my day is worse after viewing that. Just outside the mall is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. She'll buy me a nice meal. Give him a kid's meal. <laughs> I love We're her here. outfit. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, in a dream, 
Hunger is the most precious spice. Mm. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. So Today is Soul it's my Glad, treat. is it like a soda, but it makes you drunk? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. <sighs> Me, but with dendro aramites. I can respect that. I can respect that. Dendro Aramites are absolutely one of the most well-designed NPCs in the game. Like champagne? <laughs> You're welcome. I... I... get... Oh! She just gave me the money? She's like so nice. This is Panacone's most iconic dish. Pick your favorite. <gasps> Pizza. Um, and then I should get something for her, right? But she didn't say what she wanted. Grape soda? Would it be rude if I just bought everything? I feel like that's kind of rude. <laughs> well, actually, okay, pizza for me. And then a burger. And fries, obviously. And then we gotta get one dessert each. Or, alternatively, we could share it all. Um, this is... <laughs> Are you done ordering? <laughs> you... You have great taste. Oh, you misled me! I, I'll get the bill. You told me to... You told me to spy everything! You guys suck. Mm. Now, let's go this way. I have like two million. Can I please pay her back? <laughs> Give him a kid's meal. Well, I thought, you know, two. We're two people, so two oh. meals. I, still gotta get it. I felt like two meals made sense. You know, burger, fries, pizza, two desserts, and a drink. This is the luxury store I told you about earlier. <laughs> if we keep drink. going, we'll reach Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. I want to go in the stores. I, not going into the stores is like really making me mad. Faster, ma'am. Faster. Fine, I'll walk. <sighs> not you ending her financially. We're over here. here. Follow me. <sighs> it's okay. I'm sure I'm going to be putting my life on the line for her. Please soon, so. come this way. Let me show you something I'm interesting. Sure. Look, oh, make it up to her. That's the statue of Clocky. Penicone's famous cartoon character. Now oh, that's Mr. Minutes. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penicone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. What's what's to what's, date? What's... Over ten thousand episodes have aired. Oh, uh, what's the, what's what's that? His character design is a little surrealist. Um, I guess it's because the animation has a retro style. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Hey, who I can't believe you haven't heard of him. No, we have. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penicone, the founder of the dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. I'm just like striking out. This is like my second He's like my second strike. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Penicone as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person. Just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess. But everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penicone in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penicone knows this name. Sounds fake. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. So scared. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind so of thing a trailblazer would do. So crazy to meet Dish Iris in real life. <laughs> in Dish Pockets. Uh, Dish Iris. 
I should, uh, I should figure out if I can get those items of clothing that I was wearing on the show. I think I remember the brands. The skirt was... Actually, I won't tell you, because it'll break immersion. But maybe I can get the clothes that I wore, and I can cosplay myself. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? Herb, thank you for the 14 months, by the way. Uh, yes, I do. Let's just be nice. My pleasure. Here, give me your phone. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Help! Help me! Hello, this... have a great night in this flower. Chad, thank you for the 15 months. Huh? What's that? Oh, it looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Help! Help me! Help! Help me! Whoa. The eyelashes are begging to be pulled out, which feels a little too much like a dream. Beautiful person. I'll repay your kindness. Go to the tree. Please go. There, there. I'll show you something nice. I'll show you something nice. <laughs> okay. After letting out the adorable trip, the bird flies away. Before it left, it seemed to have offered some kind of reward. The main thing is that you need to go to the tree first. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? She didn't see it. Um, I rescued a bird. A bird with sharp edges and points. A bird with sharp edges and points. <laughs> um, I don't think I saw it. Well, what? <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop. Wait, which I want to take a, a picture. Stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. I wanted to take a picture first. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Checked out like a list. little egg really hunt. Huh? Like a little Easter egg hunt. She never took my picture, man. Fine, I'll take one. I didn't know it was that I had to choose. Yeah. Let's go. I didn't know it was choose between help the bird Checked and... Off the list. And, uh... Take a picture. Give me that. Consider the majestic hall of... Hey. I got... Oh, in the pleasure-drenched maze, you find yourself fortunately fortunate to encounter a local guide. You are unable to justify if Firefly is an adequate guide or not, but you feel we can be friends. Uh, you trust your insight into others and believe you have the charisma required to make every young maiden you encounter in your journey into a persistent presence in your life. That's not like quite what I said. But sure. I feel like I didn't say that. I feel like I did not say that at all. <laughs> I feel like you're putting words in my mouth, actually. But uh, no matter. I'm sure all is fine. I'm sure that didn't mean anything, chat. New sticker. Oh, no, sticker. Upon returning to reality, many guests are required to retake the driver's license test. For those who have experienced the golden hour, they can easily understand the reasoning behind this requirement. Every, like, passing hour, I feel more uneasy being here. I did get an achievement, I guess. Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. He was self-proclaimed Riz, apparently. Has a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. 
The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacone Grand Theater. <sighs> Since the moment oh. it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacone with everlasting peace. Uh -huh. And here sure. we are. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. I don't know why I'm like... <sighs> Next? Oh. You appear into the binoculars, but all that meets your gaze is abyssal darkness. Abyss? Suddenly your eyes open in the abyss and begins... The violet stare at you. one says this is random, but this music sounds like the music when Keegan and Obi Wan are underwater to meet the Gulgans. Star Wars brain rot. <laughs> well, um, was that in Episode One? I have not seen that movie enough times, or recently, to know. <laughs> but if you remember it, I believe you. Continue to meet his gaze. Keegan. Yeah, great pronunciation, Ryan. You gaze into the abyss. Abyss gazes also into you. You choose to meet the abyss's gaze. After some time, the eye closes shyly. Only darkness remains in the telescope. Yes, that's right. I win the staring contest. Don't forget to get hit by a car, guys. You will get an achievement for it. That place up ahead is Ideen Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. Okay. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacone. The gigantic soda bottle houses the soda headquarters culture. of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Okay, so it is soda. It def it is soda. But it's not just soda. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then okay. carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe that. for Susa juice, known as Dream Leaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacone's Dreamscape. Syrupism. Hi, Nick. Sorry. Sorry that this is spoilers. No, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. This is so weird. I kind of. I don't know why I'm getting like sussed out by Firefly right now. She abruptly freezes, and that fleeting moment you notice a cautious shift in the girl's gaze, piercing directly into your brow, perhaps to someone behind you. Her face? Uh, what are you looking at? Firefly returns to her warm, gentle <clears throat> disposition. Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. Like she's kind of suspicious. I don't know, I almost feel like she's trying to distract me. Or like keep me busy or something. See these musical instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacone? Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories. Oh, I thought that was and, uh, Transform into the destructive Dream Jolt troop. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. I was like, oh, it rains in Hey, Pentagon? there's a ride attendant over there. God. Let oh. Should she? Could she be the lethal company? <laughs> Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacone. May I get some ID tokens for her? Yeah, finally. Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Name. Dara. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. 
Have a good time. And how many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Panacone to the fullest. Gotcha. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Gotcha. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Let's live it to the fullest. Sus, my new suspicious friend. Let's do it. Let me see. Which one should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward. As opposed to slots, slots, wheel, slots. Not enough credits left. Wheel, <laughs> slots. They're all the same. What are you talking about? The one. Oh wait, you can get. Oh wait, let me check the prizes. Okay, okay. Anything very epic? Oh, they're all the same, huh? Not enough credits left. Little kids using it? Bruh. Oh, they are different. Where are like Not the big prizes, left. you know? Like, where are the big prizes? I want no word. I don't... There's a giant gotcha machine in the front. Can I just use Please any? Do not hit the entertainment oh, I can only use these ones here for now. Dang it. It's fine. Not enough credits left. Go back to the one I wanted initially, this one. Or not, whatever. Oh, on the wall? Wow! You won something on your first attempt! Impressive! <gasps> oh. oh! Oh, humongous prize. I'm gonna win. I am epic. Kept waiting it for to tick to the next one. <laughs> Whoa, a snack. Dang, I'm sad I wasted one then. You keep playing. I'll go and get some drinks. Mm, actually, I think this is rigged. Feels rigged. Feels rigged. Feels rigged. Okay, this is it. What's this? Upon use, your next draw from the lucky wheel in Penny Coney guarantees you a, a special prize. What's taking Firefly so long? Nothing. Don't worry <laughs> about her. She's heading toward the bar. Super big prize. Yeah! Okay, we're moving our way up. We're working our way up. <laughs> Gimme. <me>. Wow. <laughs> Again. Dang it, I wasted a coin. Coins. Who want to sell me more coins? You, sir. The one. You. No. You, sir. Please do not hit the entertainment facilities. I didn't. I didn't. I can't talk to anyone. It's okay. I'm gonna win the best. I'm gonna win something epic right here. I've used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Oh. Give me that grand prize. 
big prize. Um, or I could buy more tokens from someone around here. Not enough credits left. Lewis. Do you like stories with sad endings? Or happy endings? I prefer the former. When beauty is carefully shattered, the sublime devastation always leaves people soul trembling. Of course, I'm also a fan of well-made comedies. However, I always feel like I'm currently a pathetic clown in some poorly written script. It's hard to describe the feeling. Disappointment, misery, and anger. Too many emotions are mixed together, just like syrup in different flavors, of different flavors being randomly poured into a cauldron. Oh, by the way, what can I do for you? Um, point me in the direction of where I can buy coins. If only the two holes above your nose are... Um, <clears throat> sorry. I do this for a living and I can't help it. I mean, I'm enjoying the scenery, as you can see. So NPCs, man, they're just yappers. Just yeah, blah, 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 <laughs> Taking in the view of the Penicone Grand Theater from here can barely count as a decent way to spend my free time. If I want to join, I don't mind saving you a spot, Lois. Louis, we don't, we are not. The meandering light grows faint, and shadows slumber beneath the curtain. Well, I suppose I appreciate the extension of goodwill. But I am busy right now. So. I don't know what he just gave me. Fine, I won't gamble anymore. Not enough. Go to the guy vomiting rainbows. <laughs> oh. Dude, the prompts keep disappearing. No! Who would have thought downing 40 bottles of Soul Glad back to back would feel like this? Feels absolutely amazing. The kids with the phone. <laughs> I have to note this feeling down. You over there, do you want to join the party? Which party? What party do you think? Golden Hour is one non stop party. All you need to bring is a fun loving spirit. As for me, I am the most legendary party goer here, Dancy. You can tell by my peppishy entourage that I am the biggest party go around. There's no former and form of entertainment in Pentaconi I wouldn't dare try. I think he's you're gonna run out of liquid in your body with how much vomiting. If you're willing to become my fan or party planner, to be precise, I can share my aid and ID tokens with you. Okay, now we're talking. And now we're talking. Drink the soul glad. <gasps> yeah! Yes, I want all the collectible items. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Why does the prom keep disappearing? Aren't you so glad you get f 10 free tokens? I thought the sewers were filled with so glad. Turns out it's just water. What a bummer. Chirp. Let's go back to Young Master Gold and ask for some fruit. Bye. Now we're talking. <laughs> you know what? Please Sophie and Parasox, those were really good puns. I can't even lie. Those were really good puns. Really good. I can't even be mad. Aren't you so glad you got 10 free tokens? Give me that. I won't even mock you for it. Or disdain you in any way. Uh, I don't want those anymore. I want the black cone. This is really cool, by the way. I don't know if I said that, but this is this is cool. Ah! <laughs> Okay, but I got the big one. I got the second big one. We're still gambling. Um, yeah? No! You are so lame. It's just one? I thought it was... I thought it was gonna happen. It's 
like gotcha within gotcha. <sighs> I'm gonna get one, guys. Don't worry. Do not fret. Your streamer is lucky still. This is the one. Okay, this is the one. I'm gonna get the purple one. Sorry, Firefly. All of us have priorities. Should have ticked one more time. <laughs> Five by waiting for the plot to advance while you're gamba. <laughs> Gross. If I can see the face of whatever the animal is, the one. I don't want it. Please do not hit the entertainment facilities. Who okay, else wants to be Everything's full of sugar. It's a dream after all. A gorgeous, exquisite crystal glass hovers in midair, surrounded by three different bottles of liquor. Along with the jolly music nearby, the glass bottle floats and spins as though they were having a dance party of their own. Yet from the way they sway their bodies, you can still discern a hint of dissonance lurking beneath the surface of this magical scene. The red wine bottle, despite its awkward movement, will inch closer to the crystal chalice, tentatively, every few seconds. However, the glass seems keenly aware of the bottle's red, what, red bottle's motive, and will keep its distance curiously with finesse. Why do I do this? The gold wine bottle is the best dancer. It appears to be experienced in attending such occasions, and is having a good time. It approaches the crystal glass and then pulls away from time to time. Although two do not speak, they seem to have formed some quarter, some form of rapport for each other, with each other. The green wine bottle moves are steady <laughs> and restrained compared to the previous two. It behaves more like a spectator, but in its occasional sway, you can sense a suppressed desire within. Perhaps it has just grown accustomed to holding back its desires. Why is this reading like a romance novel? The realization dawns upon you. There is a love drama going on amongst the three underneath the peaceful facade. Miss, miss! The crisp voice ring rings in your head. Each syllable's each syllable resembling the clink when someone gently taps the rim of a tall wine glass with a small silver spoon. That's right, miss. You heard it right. I'm speaking to you. You seem pretty occupied. You're right. I'm in a dilemma. Look, I'm high-end, custom-made crystal wine glass. The person who made me say that I should be used to... The person who made me say that. The person who made me said that I should be used to hold. I actually, there's so many like, holy crap, the sentence. There's so many different ways to read this. You could read it. You could read it. The person who made me. No, wait, maybe I just can't read. The person who made me said that I should be used to hold only the most valuable and finest wines. But you could also read that as, I should be used to hold. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to explain why my dyslexia is uh, <laughs> struggling so hard with the stupid sense. That I should be used, should be used to hold the only, only the most valuable and finest wine. But as you can see, there are three types of wine around me. I can sense their, in sense their intention to get to know me and be my partner. Truth be told, miss, I have no idea what to do. As the saying goes, the spectators see the game better than the players. I believe only a level-headed guest can help me. Like you can offer me some sound advice. Which of them should I choose? Can you talk to the each of the bottles and give me some suggestions? Yes. You're kind and enchanting, miss. The three of them are right here. Do you want to chat with them now? 
Okay. Red one. You shift your gaze to the awkward red bottle. Why are you pursuing the crystal chalice? Why? What sort of question is that, buddy? Look at me. I'm the bottle of liquor. Isn't it the most natural? No. No. Nope. Nope. Red bottle is out. Nothing extraordinary red wine that you can find at any grocery store in the street. I may be well packaged, but in reality, those rich, rich folks and drinkers wouldn't spare me a second glance. They act as if they know a lot about wine. Can they even tell what they are actually drinking in those banquets they attend? If I were I rich, <laughs> yabba dibba 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 Pink bottle gameplay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Lost Canadian. It's great to see you. <laughs> yes, this is peak HSR gameplay. Thank you so much for the thousand bits. It's good to see you around. I hope you're doing well. <sighs> Firefly in the distance watching you talk to wine bottles instead of talking to her. I'm in this already, okay? I can't stop. I don't want to end up being bought on a whim by some homeless person and chucked into a small dark alley without even being finished. So I'm working hard in the search in search of a chance to make it big. By winning the Crystal Chalice Hearts, I'll be on my way to joining- Ew, no. 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 I don't like you. You shift your gaze to the cheerful gold wine bottle. Why are you pursuing the Crystal Chalice? Oh, look who's here. It's a lady in gray, wearing a bizarre costume rarely seen in this town. I like your unique fashion sense. I'm sorry, my friend. I think you might have gotten the wrong idea. Oh, I mean about the pursuing part. I don't consider myself to be pursuing the crystal chalice. We're simply getting to know each other as equals. Why? It's because that beautiful crystal chal chalice has long been smitten with me. This isn't self-flattering, miss. It's a fact. Because you can see it too, right? Nope. <laughs> There's nothing to write home about. You wouldn't be interested. I'm a bottle of golden champagne crafted by one of the top five winemakers in Penacone. The average dream chaser probably wouldn't even touch my bottle in their lifetime. Right from my birth, I've only had one mission. To be poured into a perfect warming glass for the enjoyment of the wealthiest elites across the entire cosmos. That's why the crystal chalice is meant to be with me. We're a match made in heaven given our missions. Hmm, so you're so on paper, on paper, gold and the goat and the chalice look good together. But does that mean they're actually like in love? I don't know. I don't know. And what on what grounds is he saying that the chalice is pursuing him? I don't see any evidence of that. You can argue to the contrary all you want. Perhaps saying that the story isn't romantic enough, but it's the truth. If it turns me down and dates one of the other two guys. The relationship is destined to have a bad ending. Mm, it's a little cocky there. Trust me, I've seen too many stories like this. They all tend to end at the same scene. Shards of broken glass are shattered everywhere. And cheap liquor only attracts insects. It spills. It spilled all over the floor. I didn't hear any such thing about uh, from the chalice, so... All right, green bottle. You shift your gaze to the honest green wine bottle. Ernest, why are you pursuing the crystal chalice? No, I'm not pursuing the crystal glass. I'm merely protecting it. Yes, it's protection. Please do not make wild speculations. It seems to be a bottle of few words. It's still trying hard to restrain its desires. Tell me about yourself. I, <sighs> fine. Me, me when I'm in a dream in Penacone and a green wine bottle sighs at me <laughs> before it tells me its backstory. I guess it's all right to tell you my story. The Crystal Chalice might not remember it anymore, but the two of us were made by the same craftsmen. Although we're different products, we were born around the same time. This might sound embarrassing, but I haven't been able to get it out of my mind since the day I saw it. I was later bought by, the mil by a military officer and followed him into the battlefield for a long time. Oh, the wine glass bottle is, uh, is, is, uh, has, has, has served. Thank you for your service. However, he didn't open me until ev even the day he was struck by a stray bullet. My friend, may he rest in peace. 
By a twist of fate, I returned to Panacone and came across the crystal glass again. It no longer recognized me as we were separated for too long. Now there's a huge gap between us in terms of our statuses. I'm not expecting anything in return from it. Being just a bottle of rum, I'll never be able to offer the prestige and recognition that it desires. I just want to protect it from being taken advantage of by those other wives. That's it. I know what I'm choosing. The crystal chalice clinks excitedly as it leans its rim toward you. You should choose the green rum. The bottle of rum is willing to protect you for nothing in return. It should be able to give you happiness. I see. I've got it. I'll take your opinion into account before making my decision. I appreciate your help, miss. I'll keep you posted if there are any updates on my side. <gasps> this is my favorite love story ever. This is my favorite love story ever. So glad Diesel is meant to be the green rum and the and the and the chalice. Green! <laughs> Choose green, Lord. <laughs> What's that scene from? Uh, go with number three, my lord. Pick number three, my lord, <laughs> from Shrek. Old friends meet yet again. Oh, okay. Bachelorette number two. Or bachelorette number three. Three! Pick number three, my lord! <laughs> oh, okay, okay! Number three! Lord Farquaad, you've chosen Bachelorette number one. What? Bachelorette number three! <laughs> Pick the green! Pick green, my lord! That was beautiful. Alright, finally, I will speak to Firefly. Did she have fun? <laughs> I did, I had fun. Penagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? It's magical. Everywhere is just magical. Oh, you sound a bit sad? I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. What do you have to be forgiven from, Firefly? It's fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate hmm, your help earlier today. I don't today. know. That's I don't why know. I took the chance to introduce this beautiful Something's place weird. to you. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place, and that makes me want to <laughs> share it with others. You shouldn't f attach yourself to stuff like this. Are you really a so? I. I I'm a lawful resident. At least now I am. Something is off here. Do you need help, ma'am? Hey, can you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Did you travel here alone? My friends went to the other dreamscape. It depends on what you want to do. Yeah, I don't know if I want to give her any more info. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not, but I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Well... Someone's been following you. Oh... Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. Oh, no way. Is it him again? I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but Bro. my instincts told me he wasn't. If that's the case, then Firefly would be the second girl's girl in this game. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. <laughs> Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks Just kidding. In long Love my strides, short kings. But his steps are light and barely audible. Love my short kings. <laughs> that way of walking doesn't leave footprints. <laughs> he looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. I could take him from 5'8". He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. What the freak? I reckon freak? he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. What the freak is he doing here? Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, 
dark I mean, I guess here. I knew he was gonna be here, but ah, he's coming our way. I could take him. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer girl. <laughs> girl. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. I don't know if I would categorize Sampo as someone I could trust. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence He's... to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. I miss his JP voice though. What brings you here? You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. Get. You helped your L06 open up to the outside. Wait, Sampo's only 5'9? He looks way taller than that. I guess everyone. And they also implied that Dun Hung is 6'5, which that can't be true. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? Okay, okay, okay. Listen, guys, remember when I said, remember when I called her March? Remember when I called her March? No way, maybe I saw into the future. Maybe, or maybe we're both idiots. This is Firefly, she's my tour guide. No, you're my right. She doesn't look Firefly? like her at all. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. No, yes, you're absolutely right. Firefly does not look like March. I don't know where I pulled that from. I have no clue what possessed me to say that. <laughs> yeah, me and Sampo share one brain cell. I had it the day that I said that, and now he has it. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sampo, and I'm Sampo. an old pal of hers. Nice to meet you, too. Since when did I acknowledge you as my friend? Oh, uh, don't be like that. You're making things awkward. Mr. <laughs> Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacone? My purpose. <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacone? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. Um, I already got a tour from from Miss Firefly. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I could do much better. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to uh, explore entertainment for grown-ups with you, Sampo. Or in general, for that matter. What, does he mean like drinking or like a jazz club? Entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. I don't know what you mean by that. Well, uh, Mr. Sampo. I Anything do... Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Okay, not illegal then. Give me that. <laughs> I collect the stickers. I become epic gamer with my stickers. Adult world. What could he mean by that? I mean, if we're talking like Las Vegas vibes, it really, it's hard to even guess. I mean, aren't we already here? In ex you know what? That's what actually makes it confusing. It's because he's saying the adult world. But here we have gambling. Alcohol. Like, music. What else could he... What else is there? 
Epic Sticker Gaming. The pleasure of the pleasures the golden hour can provide are myriad and bountiful. Ignoring whether such topics should be discussed on stage at all. But no pleasure can match the feeling of being united with old friends. Pulled by the color of undeniable blue. The implication he poses on you are... Why did it have to be him? You're beginning to suspect your fortunes along the way, mainly because you ran into Sampo once again. A grand reunion across the stars. Your mind has played countless similar scenes. But why did the one you reunited with have to be Sampo Koski? You think the universe may be playing a cruel joke on you. So the trailblazer has been thinking about... Well, I guess that's true. He has... She does want to reunite with, like, Kafka and figure out, like, what the heck is going on. Coins. Yes, it's all about the coins. Right in the middle. And then... How do... No. 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 Just sticking out. Yeah. And the uh, ugly one. Da -da -da. And buckets of money that I don't have yet. Why did it have to be him? You should talk to the phones in the mouth. When do I get more jade? Whatever. Talk to the phones. Yeah, I've talked to the phone once, but I haven't talked to it recently. A peculiarly designed telephone. Yeah, okay, I remember this. No, wait. I know about it. No one available. <laughs> no one's dreams I can spy on. I didn't like hearing those words being said by him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it takes a long time to reach the other like, side what could he on mean? foot. Other than How something about sus. We just bounce over there using the pinball machine. I see a chest. Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How the could family. it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Why there are kids here unattended, that I am a bit confused about. <laughs> uh, click to select the plate. Expand energy to activate the plate and close the plate to regain energy. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Hey, that's kind of fun. Oh, wait, I don't want to go in. Oh. Hey, that's pretty fun. I could do that kind of um, adult entertainment. Is this, uh, the lower level of the commercial. Trendy doll. Uh, no one wants to give me more achievements. They're not meant to be kids, just small people. Those this aren't meant is to be no kids. Ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the oh. Pepeshi people. Or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. I don't know if I love that. Um, but I'm just gonna move past it. You look utterly <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's not. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like that concept in. I don't really like that concept in games, so I'm just gonna move past it. Here we are again, pal! Huh? 
Oh, it's you. You here to relax? In my book, looks like a kid, talks like a kid, is the size of a kid, it's a kid. Right! I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Like, why make them kids? Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> yeah, no, if they... I don't care. If they... <laughs> if a game... I don't care what a game says about whether it's a kid or not. If it sounds like a kid, looks like a kid, and is the size of and shape of a kid, then it's a kid. Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? Okay. No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Well, How did some forget like it? Can't kind go of in. Funny. Yeah, why wouldn't they? I wish they'd use different models. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like, that's what I don't like. Because we, there are kids in the HSR game that have the same body model. So if you want me to believe or go along with that they're not kids, then make a different model. Make a tiny version with adult proportions. Otherwise, I don't care. I don't want to hear it. What should we do? Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Such a massive Got pet peeve of mine. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just Ow. mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. What are you talking about? Just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. Secret entry. <gasps> Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said, do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find what in an arcade happening? machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. Oh, I do want to do this. Pepper she, bodyguard. Is that... A TV? Yes, Why I was, was wanting to do this. Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road? Haha! <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade! Oh. This fine machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? Couldn't hurt, I guess. Is this a trap? Well, I do think there's something fishy with this TV. I got some... I'm having flashbacks to, uh... To little nightmares this from the truth from the TVs. This belongs to the family! How can there be anything wrong with it? If you aren't up for it, I'll just do it myself. The two most almost synchronously turn their guys toward you, or perhaps more precisely, it was three of them, including the guy with the trembling oversized nose and glasses in the screen. You know it's time to make a choice. So do you want to take a chance and touch the television and see what intriguing events unfold? Touch it, touch it, touch it. Seems I'm left with no other options. All right, well, let's do it then. You take a deep breath, close your eyes, muster great courage, with resolve as weighty as three exclamation marks. You reach out to a uh, suspicious speed. Suspicious screen before you. Touch it. I'm gonna touch it. Oh my. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, is that me? Why did you turn into this <laughs> thing? 
I think I've been sucked to the TV. Gosh, you guys are tall. Goodness me, you guys are so tall. You desperately want to say this, but somehow you've been transformed into a certain cartoon character. Your name is Hanu, a, t a candid and taciturn figure? Taciturn figure? A lover of your hats and leader of the werewolves from Pentacone's famous long term cartoon, Glocky. You're also uh, the mascot of the Bloodhound family. You silently protect the peace of Dreamville according to your character traits. You can only make a cool grunting noise as a response right now. Let out the cool grunt that sounds cool. You make an extremely cool grunt. Man, really, it was so cool. You look so cool. <laughs> you got swag now, pal. So how did she turn into that? Oh, 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 you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, <laughs> so silly. you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. <laughs> now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. Okay, now we're talking. Let out the cool <laughs> That sounds cool. <laughs> you make a cool grunting noise. Have you thought about why you're ever changing back? Why you'd ever change back if you keep being this cool? Ooh, here it says, <laughs> enter the door to start your adventure. To climb inside from this there to start so your challenge, funny. pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> Tears of my eyes. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. I look cool as hell. <laughs> Yes! 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 Hell yeah. Huh. Huh. <laughs> it's my cool grunt noise. I'm <laughs> just a little guy. <laughs> I am just a little guy. But I'm cool, but I'm cool about it. After being shrunk by the boss stone, climbing the staircase seems to be a challenging as the mountain hike. Let's try another route. All right, let's go. Ha ha ha! I finally <laughs> caught you, you little Hanu! Oh, yeah, we'll look see about that. You you won't be One able blue drop and it says wildish. <laughs> the cool grunt is so cool. Mm -hmm. The balloon plate, uh. Those who are shrunken can probably not destroy balloons. That's fine. I'll find another way. Because I'm cool. Oh, wait. I will be less cool for a second. No, I hate my mouth for revealing my secret. Why I can't? Ugh, come on. All right. It's morphin' time. No way they said that. No way they made it say that. It's Morphin time. He kind of looks like a tiny... <laughs> he looks like a... Uh... Oh my gosh. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Jackman. Uh... I keep wanting to say werewolf and that's not right. Wolverine. He looks like a little Wolverine. Like I said, I love my short kings. You can't talk at all, forget it. Yeah, I can't. I, I can let out a cool grunt. Using the fantastic rockets built by the origami bird, Hanu can quickly shift between the ends of the different rockets to reach place otherwise inaccessible. Yes. Oh! Epic gaming. From Hanu. Alright, what else? Probably gonna have to morb again. Yes, I will morb. 
Yes, this game is free. This game is free. <laughs> it's called Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> and it's on mobile and PC. Not yet PlayStation, I don't know. Right? It's not on PlayStation. This is so great. This is so great. Terribly creative and fun. All right, now what are we doing? Find the boss's stone treasure. So it's up here? Oh. I don't know how you expect me to get over there. Oh, I need to get, um, maybe I can climb up some ramps. Ow. Something. Can I jump this? I don't get to choose which rocket I go to, huh? I'm so dumb. There's there's two. I am so dumb. Alright, honey on the case. Go oh, rap! You foiled yeah. my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. Fine. I'll <laughs> admit it. Rescue Dreamville once again. But you just wait. I'll be back. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. Why is your cool grunt a Minecraft villager? You might be right. <sighs> grunt as cool as Hanu. All right. Well, I will be coming Hanu again. Very next chance I get. <clears throat> uh, boring. I'm back to normal now. You're back. <sighs> Are you all right? More than all right. I had a fantastic time. I see. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. Look at that. You did great! This is the proverbial moment of freedom! You have earned it. Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. A dream within a dream? Oh yeah, Larry's low-key been up there for a while. It's, he's one of the random graphic roulette redeems. You've had quite a bit to drink. Okay, where are we going? The dreams, dreamscape, sales store? I'll walk in case I miss some stuff. I'm sure I did. This damp will affect my joints. I love it here. I find maybe is it because I'm American? Is that why I find this so interesting? Is it like na is it like a weird nationalism? <laughs> this but it's like this is so cool. And I hate Las Vegas for the record. Las Vegas Where makes me road? sick to my stomach. Are we heading back to the OT mall? That's right, Miss Firefly. <gasps> that is where the good stuff is. Is it just part of my American genes to love American-inspired things? I also, I feel like I don't see, you don't see it that much in like gotcha, <laughs> like Asian gotcha games. Oh. <sighs> Not me getting hit by one of those circular cars and getting an achievement. Yeah, don't forget to get hit by 
a car in game. In game. Oh, there is a shop here. Daisy. I could buy a car. What happens now? What happens now? What happens now? That doesn't mean no. Did I get faked out just now? Anecdote. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> okay. Wait, but did I get juked just now? Because so literally, I where's my car? Did I get scammed? Because I didn't buy... I will organize this to be cuter later. I swear. If I spent 45 minutes decorating my Kindle, I will spend 10 minutes to make the sticker book like nice when I get all the stickers. What the heck? Where's my car? All that and I'm not able to ride it? Did I even get the key? A luxurious private Steinway Falcon Speedster. A most common rented model. Okay, now what do I do with it? There's no vehicle that I can't sell. But I can't drive. Ah, you just arrived in Penacony. The cars and the dreams are self-driving. You don't have to drive them. Just push the button, enter your destination, let the system take care of the rest. Uh, does self- Uh... Is there like a station where I can start driving? Cause I feel like, I feel like I just got scammed, Daisy. <sighs> I just bought the keys. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. Daisy, when I get you, Daisy. I know this car is near where we dropped. Hmm. Maybe I can activate it. Here we are again. Huh? I see you brought two friends with you. Well, they seem like fun people. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. I'll be my guest. Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape, sir? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it! The one from last night would be perfect! Um, what's going on? And this is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. With the relevant emotion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Any dream I want. Getting exactly. scanned is just part of the immersion. Looks like you've got the picture. You probably woken up from a dream one time. Okay. And wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? Wait. I know this is all part of a dream, but I that money that I just spent didn't feel like I a dream. I don't think I'm gonna get that back. A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness, but mm. please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. Thank you, Sunshine, for the prime sub. 
I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Oh, and Canadian uh, for the Have 17 months. Okay. Your donation is appreciated. The retrieval is complete. I am scared. Calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. It's ready. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. Ugh, where's this? Oh. Is this? Yeah, Bellabog. The clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? How did I end up here? Where is everyone? What should I do now? Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The audio was like going back between my ears. Could you, did you guys hear that? Oh, <laughs> I did it like that, actually. It was cool, but I kind of hated it. Is this... Another note? Spatial audio. Nopers. Samples advice. Become the garbage king. Though the trash bags have long been broken. <laughs> I think I've had this dream before, too. Oh, really? Well, you know what they say. Great minds dream alike. Stop nitpicking the details. Ah! If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside. But don't get frightened by what you say. Bro, it's gonna make me dizzy. It makes me feel like he's spinning around my head. Like, at insane speeds. <laughs> what? What is happening? No weighing. What is happening? <laughs> there are the dogs. <laughs> I really thought the trash cans was just like Hoyo being silly. But like, I mean, I guess we are still being silly, but this is kind of next level. I speak trash can now? Are you related to Natasha? And <laughs> Are you saying you want me to rally you all together? I think that's what she means. What do I need to do? Okay. I'm confused. So take that. Normal looking trash can, how magical. Kingdom of Trash Cans actually got an ordinary trash can. It's a rare opportunity. Do you wish to do anything? Remove some trash. Of course, that's the value of the trash can. When you use your fingers to touch its sides, a burst of loud sound follows. Oops. <laughs> Inakata. 
Go, mata, hitta. Is that Dunhung's VA? Mono, inakatta. Ne hata hodo jigo, hona hata. Tode, datta hodo, hitta da. You sh you talk like the Knight of Beauty. Ma, makana datta. Tana, who is that? なたかなはなたたのたたとかまたたはたたたたはたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたた
んたがうんがばらならか I want an extra one to take home もまはあばさかたそのごもあばるらだ Dear cool grunt in response <laughs> Investigate the first trash can I'm just gonna read these in my head. I want extra ones. Comic book. Oh, I have a team, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Awaken, Dormant. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Heaven's search. Break. Let's settle this. <laughs> oh, Let's my support. gosh, the shield is so intense. <gasps> Receive divinity. Do not fret. <laughs> Eternal sleep is the dead return. Is he hit so hard? Let's be friends. Yes! The strength. Heaven, sir. Rise! Okay. Propagation crisis has ended. The world is now peaceful. Thank you, Nameless. Alright. I deserve it. <sighs> I want to keep. I want all of them. I will complete them all. These guns ain't just for show. <laughs> Giga Chad leaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> どういこれオペジ誰だとどれだとだばちょこざらだちょこ誰だとちゃるだだらばポトじゃらじゃじゃれこといめぱららオッケーウェルトウィズダムかいのぬかいたにまにかビフトトラッシュケンこんまいか
Who's a bit to the very red star? A sabe do a yase vero. Defeat Tab Love the Garbage King. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is happening? Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. Oh my gosh. Such a dread. Didn't they say the Garbage bop, King bop, bop, would bop, wait bop. for me here? Have I been set up? Yeah. I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the garbage king. What the heck, Firefly? Really is a shame I'd be able to finish him off with one punch. You're the garbage king? What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt yeah. halt because of Miss Firefly. Party foul. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. I don't know what that means, though. What is the garbage king? What are you trying to say? Trying to say? I'm not saying anything. I just want to reveal the truth. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery yeah. in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Penacone? A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm going to be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Is that girl still here? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious? I do, I do. Yes, there was a Garbage King plotline in the Bellabog, like if you spoke to all the trash cans. You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot-free. <laughs> See you around, pal. Don't let me down. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? I must it's find her me. and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. Did she claim your car at the gate of the Daydream Hotel? Oh, in the real world? In reality? Or is that somewhere else? Yeah, why did she stop the dream? That's weird. That's weird. It, no one on the golden map, on the golden hour map. Car dealer, ice cream trolley. Popcorn truck, trolley, capsule machine. Ooh, I don't... Have I been there yet? It's on the bottom. Oh, here. Okay, I will do that. Because I want my car. Oh, Dr. Ratio. I missed it. Um, You said... New car. There's a parking lot in the front. Oh, yes, there is. There is? 
on the left. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. Uh, this. Ah. Wait, on my left? Like, left? Left is in this way? There's a vacant spot. Oh, there is a vacant spot. This is your exclusive parking lot. Park the luxurious speedster. Ah! That's my car? That's my car. Please come by if you need me in trouble. I'm running out of time. Speed is power! Time is money. <laughs> Wait, I want to drive. I want to drive. I want to drive. It's green, too. Okay, well, whatever. That's my car still. It's gorgeous. Park your car in the exclusive parking spot at the Reverie. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. My car. It's so big. <laughs> Will always make me laugh. What a huge the cloud song. <laughs> wow, how do I buy this one though? How much are you? Kinda looks like a Thunderbird, huh? <laughs> a brand new car. <laughs> girl turned her body sideways, gazing into the distance as if evading her gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and softly speaks. I'm sorry. You feel guilty, don't you? Yes. There are things... I'm hiding from you. I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. But still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. Hmm. You can board the Astral Express, too. <sighs> Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It, it's my very own secret base. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. But I hope you do. I'm going to be vigilant to the end. Sure. Yeah. Not going easy on her, just because she's got a cute little voice. That don't mean she's not sus. Let's go this Boom, way. Boom! Move it! No, you! <laughs> Is something... Some... Hey, talk! Help! Help me! Someone's dying! Please, come here! Didn't I make myself clear? Someone is dying! Please help! Wait! Can you see me? Mm, is there a problem? <laughs> it's clacky! Can you really see Can me? Can you really see me? Talk. Wonderful! Oh, this is wonderful! Awesome. There's still hope for Misha! Oops! I, I haven't introduced Whoops. myself! My I, name is Clark. I'm a famous celebrity in Pentacony. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight, and Misha. Misha is in I love this though. Help, help. Visuals are so good. Uh, how can I help? Clocky? Do you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life. Yeah, that's true. Mickey is public domain. 
You're right. You're right. Um, where is he? That version of Mickey Mouse, I, I rather. I can't see him. Steamboat Willie version. Tick I guess I'm only this oh, I guess. with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here, Cloud and Gray. Oh, boy. It says only children can see him. He says you were it isn't kind or honest. <laughs> Just how so? It's the clocky Tick house. Tick clock my house. Come inside, Terry's no more you time. Must be able to help me. Brandon, thank you for the seven months. <laughs> my friend Misha is in trouble. This is so I'm silly. I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. Before it's too late. He's begging for help. Huh. Well, are you gonna help this, um... Yes. Clocky that only you can see? I don't think you're lying. As anything can happen in a dream. Exactly. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Yeah, I need to get all the deets. Hurry up and follow me, great friend. Misha's in trouble. <laughs> He's over there. Let the name of Misha. Misha rings a bell to me. Anyway, better check out what's going on. Yeah, we met Misha in the real world, I think. Come on, jump, jump. Move as fast as the hamster ball right. <laughs> ba -ba. There's a crowd over there. Looks like something His happened. little feet. Please, calm down. Uh, everyone, please stay calm. You broke the rules, and now you're going to have to pay the price. Gangsters in Dreamland? That's um, so silly. Punish you, boss. Punish, boss. Punish, Punish you, boss. Yay! <sighs> How did it come to it's this? It's her. It's her. It's her. Isn't that Misha? Isn't that Akram? It's everyone. Uh, do you know her? See? I wasn't lying! Misha really is in trouble! TikTok, I'm begging you, my brave friend! Begging you! Please help Misha! Please tell me what's Wait, going are on. Are you talking to Clocky? Huh. I'm really curious too. Tick tock, tick tock. It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, <laughs> Stone's the worst. He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville this so that so... he can have all the precious stones to himself. This is so incredibly unserious. He instructed his mother <laughs> to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. No. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. Not the We're no longer a family. Not the gumdrop buttons. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. Of By not. using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape <sighs> back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again. <laughs> My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. Power. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Sounds like I'm being used for something. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. The random rolling of the R's. Uh, are you sure? Why don't you do it yourself? I can't pull it off on my own because they can't see me. So please, close your eyes. Close. Now, our minds have merged into one. Can you feel an energy surging through your body? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, like, jokes aside, Clocky's VR ki is killing the troll. Absolutely. Absolutely, they All are. All have to do is use the <laughs> clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won! Please I don't know mind about that. that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. Malicious. We're the guardians of Dreamville, after all. Tick tock. Oh, we could peep a punch. True. Um, excuse me, gangster boss. Mind your own business, lass. 
I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. Um, yes, but please consume this drug first. Here comes the clockwork! Dial and got it moving. Here comes the clockwork! It's just that <laughs> seeing that gleeful smile on his face. Oh, he's just as scary as he was before. Hello, everyone! Please allow me to welcome all of you to Penacone Land of the Dreams. Oh, come on now. Line up and give our honored guests a warm welcome. Um, sure. sure. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Ready? Go! Welcome, Welcome to Pentecone. Land, Land of the Dreams. 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 I don't understand the, uh, I don't understand, uh, I don't understand this, that, um, uh, happiness changed what they were thinking. No need for such formalities, we're a family. Yes, 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 I am a member of the Iris family. So that's literally true. You're right! We're a family to them! <laughs> we're, we're a family! family. family. Wow! Well, seems like you've established yourself as an important figure around mm -hmm. here. In that mm -hmm. case, can you ask them to leave now? Dish Iris. I should change my name to that, actually. Sure thing. I should change my name to that! Boss. The gang! Let's give our VIP some space, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, boss. Ah, <sighs> we meet again. Are Dish you the Iris. one who helped settle everything down here? Hmm? Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? She's an esteemed guest whom I've befriended recently. I told you about her before. Does it ring a bell? <laughs> oh, it's her! Anyway, thanks a lot. Oh! If you hadn't gotten here oh. in time, whew. I would have been in a real mess. Oh! <sighs> Thank you. Oh. I'm surprised we get to see each other again <laughs> so soon. Oh, this is delightful. <laughs> How are you enjoying the story? Cherubu, I am enjoying it so much. It's more than I thought I would. Hey, isn't that the lady that the... Isn't that picture of the lady that the... That one sign is obsessed with? Like, his love that he doesn't even know her name? I'm enjoying it so much. So much. More than I more than I even thought if I would. This is like so especially after coming coming after the Boafu. This is it almost feels like a different game. No need to thank me, it's the least I can do. About all the commotion it's just so refreshing. now. I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway. I owe you another one. Is this lady uh, your friend too? Yes. Well, we've only met each other once before. Oh. But she is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. No, you help me first by getting oh, that creep so out of my room. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. Oh. Beautiful lady. By the way, <laughs> what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. Luna, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, Vorero, thank you for the tier one sub. Sarah, I think I missed this thing with a hundred subs. I was wondering. I mean, hundred bits. <laughs> no, hundred subs. What happened <clears throat> back there exactly? Clocky taught me some clockwork. Talk therapy. I used that on him. It's only natural for people to get intimidated by my baseball bat. What are you talking about? It wasn't the baseball bat. It was clockwork! Okay, chill. I don't think it's that simple. Chill. A hundred subs? Oh my... Could no. it have something to do with that, uh, clocky that only you can see? A hundred subs? That's like, uh, sponsor numbers. Clocky? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality? I mean, in the dreamscape. Curious slip of the tongue, Miss Firefly. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only Bloody honest people man. with childlike innocence can see him. 
It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. <laughs> if Sorry. Lucky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Or I'm being used and it's like a hallucination. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things mm. in the dream. Probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. It says that like she's not a cartoon character herself. That is fair. That is actually fair. I thought your heightened perception was caused <laughs> by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. The elegant memo keeper. Who is she? Shortly after we parted ways, oh, I met a lady wearing a black veil who was also a guest of the hotel. We had a good time talking about the event over drinks. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden Monka. of Recollection? <gasps> is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that Flocky you saw? Mm. After all, it is a grand event held by the family. Mm. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagined. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream and I shall not interrupt your date. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not on a date. You tease. <laughs> She's gone. She's such a tease. I'll let you get back to your beeswax. I'll let you get back <laughs> Thanks, to your beeswax. I really appreciate your help. The That's he he though. <laughs> a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. I feel like it's all a misdirection, They're trying to make me like Firefly, May but I am. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. But Please I'm come with suspicious. Me. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Now you know how to use clockwork, go try to change someone's emotions. What, just for fun? Sounds a bit, um... A vivid cartoon character appears before you. A pity that you can't consider a fan. Can't be considered a fan of clocky franchise, but interest can always be slowly nurtured, right? Its appearance might be a hidden sign. A living cartoon character has manifested right before you. This feels like some kind of allegory for your journey. The gun has shown up in scene. The gun that shown up in scene that showed up in scene. Once one in scene. Oh my gosh. Help me. <laughs> The gun that showed up in scene one has to go off in scene three, right? You might just be right in this universe ruled by causality. Not a single encounter is without significance. Uh, so close. <laughs> yeah. Who's that? I don't remember meeting that guy. I feel like he should be big. A reader who can't read. That is curious. Mm. Let's go. Yeah. Should be small. Right. Here. No. Here. Yeah. Croc dude is the boss that was mentioned before. Yay, Dr. Ratio. Look who I have <laughs> hidden. <laughs> I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Perfect. Great, great, great. Okay. Misha. The sticker collecting is so addicting. 
Freak you adventuring. Not interested. Is this text... Can I move that? Because you're kind of in my way. Ugh, whatever. Whatever. Keep following the firefly. Yes! Another sticker. Holding all. Clocky scares me. I think Clocky could be end up being kind of scary. Gosh, this is getting kind of busy, don't you think? I want the burger. Okay. Ah! It's getting kind of busy around here. Sticker gaming. Arrow at the bottom right. Oh, oh. Yes. No, no, go away. No. Oh, can I use the pinball machine again? Or do I have to walk? Mm, oh, I do need to go there. Ugh. Whoa. I want to eat coffee. Something about it, like, because the art style is so different than everything else in HSR, it feels, it's just it's so, like, 3D to me. <laughs> I don't know. It's like four dimensions. Sorry. I'm afraid we need to take the pinball machine to reach this place. That's okay. Uh, you go first, and I'll be right behind you. <laughs> no problem with me. Your pinball machine is cool. is... A cafe? No. Here we are. This is the place. This looks mighty fine. No, uh, it isn't. This is. What a beautiful manhole cover. Yes. It's right inside. Inside? What do you mean? Do you want me to call in Let there? me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. Uh. Huh? I'm getting a chill. <gasps> hey, let me ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To be more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? <sighs> Spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I say... You belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. <laughs> you I'll pass. Poop. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Dreamville is like frivolous, vain, and flashy. And that suits me just fine. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. The elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs at the IPC. <laughs> really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Penacony? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. 
You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. Chicken wing boy? How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, <laughs> apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? <laughs> oh my god. That is a crazy implication. Friends. Oh, please. You guys only oh, treat others she, as your she bargaining cooked him. chips. She cooked him so hard. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends <laughs> from the Garden of Recollection uh, and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. Wow, I like her. But the like smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. Little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. And that you fraud. You've asked fools to get on board. You need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Ah. Here's a hint Ooh. for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> So long. <laughs> wow. Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. Don't act like you aren't embarrassed. She got you <sighs> bad. <laughs> what a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was beautiful. Here. That was beautiful. Also, real quick, just Dish. Iris. No, Dish Iris. I can't do spaces. That sucks. No spaces. I hate it. Underscore. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> We're almost there. First name Dish, last name Iris. Their dance manager. Oh. Yes, I was invited here because I helped some of your friends. story and then oh i am so ready for this day to be over sleeping in dreamland is kind of funny left. halfway house oh dreams are supposed to be confusing can we appreciate the music for a second It's over. Wow. Dang it. I didn't, I noticed too late that the music was very epic. Man, is this implying that you can like actually, obviously we can't go this far, but all of this is explorable? Or rather, all of this is like real, not just an illusion? That would be very cool. Wait, there was definitely something I wanted to interact with. Oh, the picture. Sticker. Strange statue. Yes. Cradling this exquisite elixir of fizz.
green light. What is... Green light across the across the way at a building? Is this a Great Gatsby re reference? <laughs> kind of feels like it might be a Great Gatsby reference. Uh, do you even get art? Don't harbor delusions of jumping down there. Nahida. Yeah, Gatsby reference. You know that book only has is only rated like three out of five stars. Wow, this song is great. How are you gonna rate a book three stars that ends with the sentence? And so we beat on, boats against the current, born, see born back ceaselessly into the past. Uh, exactly how? Hey, don't go any further. All right, all right. Probably mostly high school kids who were mad they had to read it. Oh, that's probably right. It's such, it's such a fantastic book. Joshua's read it like five times. He was like, he was like, one day I was just bored Dreams and I reread Kate Great Gatsby in a day. Look, this place is breathtaking, isn't it? Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Don't worry, this place isn't dangerous. Just um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. Mm. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. Oh, okay. My secret stronghold is in this area. Oh, is that what the green, the light is? Let's sneak inside. Are they all building? A little more to the left. The, any book assigned for me for class made me hate it. I understand that. So there's some books I kind of, I read in school and I want to reread to find out if I actually just hated reading them in like a school-like fashion or if I, She came up to Eat greet yet me. Again. Guests aren't supposed to be here. She came up to greet me. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. He's so th ow, like me. It's not nice. Come here. Really, she's very cuddly, but she doesn't really like being held that much. Like she'll only tolerate it for a short amount of time. Like she's, do you see how she's pushing against me? I... <laughs> she's pushing on me so hard. <laughs> Stay away. Uh, she's cuddly, but only in like a I'm laying on top of you, or I'm laying next to you kind Trat. of. Like. We're caught right away. Could you let us through just this time? Could you please make an exception? We're not going to cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the dreamers are allowed here. He won't budge. We know Gallagher. Who? Eh, never heard of him. Uh. I wouldn't let you in even if the Dream Master were here. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Mm, let me think of another way. Perhaps Clocky's clockwork trick can come in handy? This doesn't count as malicious intent, right? Sure. What motion is he, though? None of Stubborn? your tricks are going to work. Calm. Let's cry it out. It's all right. Ah, oh, 
Honored guests. Welcome to Penacony. I'm a member of the Bloodhound family. And my job is maintaining order in the dreamscape. In fact, no danger will arise under the family's protection, which makes my job redundant. Even a trash can is more important than me. Oh, it's not that bad. But trash cans are important. I like them. Oh, oh, in that case, I'd recommend that you see Dr. Edward for a psychotherapy <laughs> session. <laughs> anyway, please just give me some privacy. You two should enjoy this fun and exciting dreamscape instead of talking to someone who is worse than a trash can. <laughs> oh, 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 no way. This, there's little dignity left in me. Please be nice and don't trample on it. Sorry, I'm really distracted. I care about your woes, but I'm, I care I'm more about sure the music. Not. You guys can force your way through, but... I Come swear on, I'll stop you or die trying. After all, I have nothing left to lose. I feel really bad. Uh. All right, do you want to come up? Come here. You can make it. You can make the jump. Come on. Ow. Your nails are so dreadful. There she is. The woman of the hour. Take the nap. <laughs> now she's here. Very low on the screen, but she is here. <laughs> Her tail is so long. Hi. Hi, cute. a nice spot on my desk or not <laughs> or not whatever you want whatever you want Let okay angry what are you doing what are you doing how many times do i have to repeat myself unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site <laughs> <sighs> just she just chopped out on my arm. It's not nice. She's like very she is she does she is not afraid to make it clear <laughs> that she's like not happy with what you're doing. And it's usually in the form of a bite that's just hard enough to hurt. It was like the tender part of my arm too. <sighs> Go bite somebody else. <sighs> Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're going to regret it. Come on, let's fight. Oh, you're asking for it. Oh, and I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. I deal with punks like you all the time. You use clockwork on her too, you I should. You fear for nothing just because you're young and energetic. You idle away your time every day. Let me help you, wrap you spoil it up. breath. Great. They're very mad. Let's be friends. And Gary, very much. Thousand one, fight as one. <laughs> Awaken, Dormant's world cleansing dragon. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. Heaven, sir, rise. I'll see you off. <laughs> Commencing support. <gasps> You chose the one. Enemy targets detected. 
this is my first time seeing Dun Tong in combat. Really? Oh my gosh. Mine is not that great. I still have some pretty nasty relics on there. I can't believe I've lost. Is this the power of youth? If I'd had that power back then, would we have ended up differently, Mia? She's back. Gatita. Oh, all right. You can go in. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. She's Never watching. imagined that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> you see her? That trick of Clocky's really is amazing. You, she's literally looking at you guys. <laughs> Her little eyes, I can't. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's play the game, almost. <laughs> Pretty colors. <laughs> what a huge the cloud song. Heaven <laughs> search. Break. Let's settle this. <laughs> Mensing support. Just going back Ready and forth. For Pick Let's a star a spot, got you done. For the support. The strength. Heavens. Rise. She cannot sit still. No, she can't. She can't. And the consequences she won't. are mine to bear. She's very cuddly. Very, very cuddly. Um, excuse me. I just want to get to the story. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the dreamer's tools. What, what happens next is going to be. Switch between the Dreamweaver's view. In this mode, disconnected path and those height discrepancies will be connected in an incredible way. Wow! Blow your mind. That is cool. Different points. Literally, in space dev mode. Are linked together. Now we can go to the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? It's like a uh, super liminal. That is very cool. A good, good opportunity to input these kinds of mechan. Ooh. What a heat the cloud song. Input this kind of mechanic. Welcome, customers. Hats off. <laughs> Waken, dormant skin. World cleansing dragon. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> she just went and laid on top of Murdoch. Heaven search. Break. I have never heard of Monument Valley. Let's settle this. Uh, Eternal sleep. Is the dead dead return. return. Is this damage normal? Or am I bad at the game? Um. I don't know because I have had like. I'm not like super dedicated to HSR, like not in the way I am in Genshin. But at the same time, it's like really hard to get relics. Okay, I'm dying. Heaven search. I would say this is normal. Probably a little less. I would argue. Let's settle this. Help. Possibly on like the lower side. But again, I don't really know. Keep the moment. Maybe I hate you. Receive divinity. Maybe I hate these TV guys. Heaven Break. He's saying imprison. Oh! <laughs> oh, I didn't do very much. <laughs> yeah, I have not been like an active HSR player as much as much as uh Genshin. <laughs> Wow, these are like pretty. I'm gonna die, bro. Ah! Seize the moment. Literally dying. Yeah. Oh. Are you 
wait for that. Blue. There's so many. Better late than never. Okay, well, I have to come back to this challenge. Retreat! 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 Retreat. Looks fun and challenging, though. Oh, that took me so far away. Oh, I am so ready Dang. for this day to be over. Oh, that took me so far. <laughs> Guess. Wow, well, that's what I get. Makes you want to go back to HSR. Well, I'm like very, very, very invested in HSR right now. Because Panacone has my Panacone has my full attention. <laughs> it's so cool. They've done such a fantastic job. We pull for Black Swan. I am not sure. I don't use a ton of DOT characters, so it's not like okay. No, we're not going to do that yet. We can use the building Interacting with the device highlights the corresponding dream modules and their trajectory. Oh, I historically suck really bad at this stuff. So just be prepared. <laughs> I love the music. <laughs> I love it. Pentacony enemies are easy to deal with. Kafka and Black Swan teams. Yeah, I don't have Kafka, so it's that's like probably why. Stepping on planks, floating on water. All right, I'm not gonna die this time. Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. I, mean, I just gotta keep their shields broken. Or yeah, get as much like weakness search. break as possible. Rise. <laughs> Commencing support. Ready for another? Welcome, customers. <laughs> yeah! They switch faces. Any attack they do, mad take energy, happy give energy. Oh, really? That's interesting. I'll see you all. <laughs> Enemy targets. <laughs> oh, it switches back and forth. <gasps> That's good to know. That's probably why. That's actually really cool. Good, we like, can get strategy. to the rooftop of the opposite building from here, but it requires a device. Ooh, I remember jigsaw. it's hidden here. I like jigsaw puzzles. That's not a jigsaw puzzle. Bam! It's just a normal <laughs> puzzle. Just like that. No matter how many times I've seen it, it still looks magical. <laughs> Let's go. Girl, that is not a jigsaw puzzle. I was expecting some some difficulty. Um, judging by how that went last time, I think I'll just mind my own business. You sure Jingya and a lot of them Jingya and a lot of them have light, light uh, lightning weakness. Good to know. Ah, okay. Good to know. It'll get harder later on. I don't know. I really <sighs> like that kind of stuff. What are these, the clouds? Hello? <laughs> are you kidding me? Seven, sir. <laughs> Break! You chose the wrong. Okay, fine. We'll use Ready for another? I sent a storm. Ah! Ah! Friends. I thought we were done. The strength awakened dormant scales. So it's happy, meaning it won't attack. But I'm World gonna break, break, it. break it. So it's okay. <laughs> and now it's angry. Heaven search. Price. Mm. Let's settle this. Commencing support. Very mad. I underestimated you. Bloom. 
Thanks for the support. Eternal sleep. So if I hit it again, it won't be mad anymore. Oh, it's dead. Such actually. A storm. Never mind. They're always pretty angry after you weakness break. Got it. Okay. Thanks, guys. Can we talk? Yeah. Just gonna auto attack this thing there. Ready for another? Welcome, Custom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting hungry, so I'm probably gonna. The consequences are mine to end bear. This, end after this, after I ride the pinball pinball machine. <laughs> I will come back to all of this. Actually, give me that. No, no, no. No! <laughs> I meant to dang it. See you know what? Moment. That's okay. A thousand one <laughs> fight is one! Don't awaken dormant squad cleansing dragon. <laughs> getting hungry. But word on the street is uh, Joshua's <laughs> gonna be streaming tonight. Break. So, friends. so I hit it once and it will be okay. It won't hit me. I'm just gonna do this to learn the mechanics. Wow. Okay. Received divinity. Uh, Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Nice. Okay, it's yeah. coming together. The times are changed. Heavens, rise. Commencing support. Ready for another? Tweaking. <laughs> He's streaming right now, then even more reason to end, reason to end. My new team slaughters these enemies in seconds. Yeah, I'm sure. I am sure. Just want to ride the pinball machine and then I'll end. Thank you guys for like joining me for HSR. I know it's been a while since I've been, you know, super. Uh. Like active in HSR. Oh. Ooh, this one looks fun. It's been a while. So I'm glad. Glad you guys are enjoying it, because I am. This could serve you well. I'm having a very epic time. <laughs> already <laughs> oh okay whoa now this is cool Adjust the building blocks to help the mirror, dream mirror, to help the clocky collect the gears. Ah, here we go. Ooh, okay, I like this. That is very compelling. It's like those fun car games. Oh, I used to play a game that was like this. We had to like get cars out of like a traffic jam. It's like just like that. It's all yours. It's all yours. Not bad for a boy star. Or purple. Look, that's the Pentagoni Grand Theater over there. 
Oh. It radiates dazzling light perpetually, just like this glamorous dream. Yeah. I suppose everyone who likes to bask in the light will be drawn to that kind of warmth. My countless fireflies chasing the fire. Let's go. Half the journey is still ahead of us. Man, honestly, genuinely hats off to the HSR. Like, I don't even know who to target. The sound, the sound, the music, the like vision behind this. It's just like, I don't know. And I have enjoyed, I enjoyed Bellbog, okay. I definitely enjoyed the lawful environment, but like this is something else. I don't know. It just eats. <laughs> the story is very interesting. It's like, it's so interactive. I don't know, I'm just like so impressed. I'm so impressed. And I'm just having a great time, so. Thanks, HSR. Thank you, HSR. <laughs> Feel more immersed with HSR too. Yeah, I f I do feel more immersed. I don't know. I guess I just didn't. I wasn't expect. It almost makes this almost makes Bellabog and like Pen or Bellabog and Lawfu feel like introduction, like preludes almost. And I feel like now we're this is just purely vibes. I feel like we're really getting into it now. I'm very pleased and excited. And with that, I think now is probably a good time. I'm I feel like I'm gonna get stuck in something significant Look. soon. So I will end it here. Sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to make you go that far. Because Joshua is streaming my husband i'm not sure what he's doing today actually but it's his first time streaming in like <laughs> months honestly oh i haven't seen him live in forever cool i remember i used to watch his stream so much i would always have it on okay thank you for watching thank you for hanging out with me this was very fun uh, Luna, thank you for the six months. If I miss that, I think I did get it, but just in case. In short, Panacone eats. And I love being a streamer. And have a great night, and I'm gonna go cook now. Say hi to Joshua. Why don't I just watch his stream in the door, in his doorway? <laughs> this difference about immersion. Well, that kind of doesn't help my case, but whatever. Okay, I'll see you probably tomorrow. But when I said that last...